Sziasztok! Szeretettel köszöntelek titeket a mai élünkön, aminek címe Holidays and Celebrations, és különböző ünnepeknek a neveit gyűjtöttem össze nektek, és mindjárt át fogok váltani angolra, ez egy angol nyelvű live lesz, úgyhogy bízom benne, hogy be csatlakoztok ti is a mai adásba, bátran írjatok majd közben kérdéseket, illetve mindegyik ünnephez készítettem pár gondolatot elő, amiről szeretnék beszélni, úgyhogy csapjunk bele. I'm happy that you're here, guys, and today we are going to learn about holidays and celebrations. Actually, these uh, holidays and celebrations have special names in English, and today we will deal with uh, the most popular, the most famous Hungarian, British and American holidays. Some of them are national holidays or bank holidays, and some of them are cultural or religious holidays. So, feel free to ask questions today, and I hope you will be able to follow me. Actually, if you have any extra information that you would like to add on the comment field, do that, because I will tell just a very few words about each holiday. So I hope you're ready. Let's get started. Now, let's see the first uh, holidays. Um, in the first round, we will rather see the Hungarian ones, but of course, some of them are international too. For example, the first one is the New Year's Eve. Repeat it, please. New Year's Eve. Now, New Year is obviously at the beginning of the year, the first day of January, but Eve is the shortened form of evening. New Year's Eve means uh, the evening before the New Year, which is 31st of December. And of course, on New Year's Eve, uh, I think a lot of us celebrate or we basically hang out with friends, family. And of course, at midnight, we open a nice bottle of champagne or, I don't know, we, we drink something special and uh, we watch the fireworks or the bonfires. So this is the first holiday during the year. New Year's Eve is actually one day before the New Year. Carnival. Carnival is the second one. I added the Hungarian names as well. Actually, in February, we have this carnival uh, period when uh, we disguise in different costumes, meaning that we uh, dress up. We wear, especially kids, but we adults too, special costumes. During the carnival season, we try to say goodbye to winter, to the winter times. So we're celebrating the end of winter, actually during the carnival season. Our third celebration, or actually it's a national holiday, is a very specific Hungarian one, which is called the Hungarian Revolution and War of Independence. And this is the 15th of uh, March, and we commemorate the victims of the war of 1848. So basically there was a revolution at that time. We fought for our independence and we commemorate um, that on this day. And throughout the country, there are a lot of events, for example, speeches, political speeches, but also cultural events. Okay, I can see you're here. You can also write some extra information about these holidays if you want so. Now, the number four, the next one is Easter. Do you celebrate Easter, guys? Let me know. And of course, it's a religious holiday. And I wanted to highlight that it consists of two days, Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. When you say a preposition with these, we will say on Easter Monday, on Easter Sunday. For example, on Easter Monday in Hungary, it's a tradition that boys or some men sprinkle the girls with a bucket of water. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. That would be watering, not sprinkling. So they sprinkle girls uh, with some perfume or some nice uh, fragranted water. 
And in return, the girls give them some painted eggs, chocolate, or it depends on the family. This is an old tradition in Hungary, and many times we just get away out of the town nowadays. It depends. Okay, number five is also a religious holiday, Pentecost. I'm not good at uh, this religion. Uh, basically, it is, as far as I remember, 40 days after Easter. So the date of Easter is always changing and the date of Pentecost also changes uh, every year. So Pentecost is a religious holiday. People go to church. There are messes, Catholic messes or services uh, if you're Protestant. It has some religious background as well. The next one is the Saint Stephen's Day. Saint, so the pronunciation is Saint, you can repeat it. Saint Stephen's Day. Saint Stephen was the founder of Hungary. And he's one of the most famous kings in Hungary. And it is on the 20th of August every year in Hungary. And there are great fireworks in Hungary. And uh, obviously some commemorations. Uh, speeches, uh, reciting poems on this day. And of course, it's a national holiday, so the banks are closed. That's why we call it a bank holiday too. The next Hungarian, just specifically Hungarian national holiday or bank holiday is the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, which is also called the Republic Day, the Republic Day. Actually, it's, it's also a commemoration uh, because we commemorate, uh, again, the victims of this uh, revolution who fought, again, for our independence. If you're interested in history, you can uh, get some further information about these Hungarian holidays. We don't work on these days, so these are official national holidays and uh, there are, again, a lot of events throughout the country. And actually, uh, there are different events at schools as well when they learn about and, and uh, remember about that day. So this is the 23rd of October, specifically just in Hungary. Okay, you probably know the next one, which is Halloween. It is not a Hungarian holiday, but some Hungarians uh, like this holiday, which is the 31st of October. Actually, uh, this day is about uh, driving away the evil spirits. And, uh, you know, the traditions in the UK and US are like uh, this typical trick or treat, trick or treat. This tradition means that the kids, again, dress up or disguise. Um, they wear different costumes and they go door to door, knocking on the door and asking for some candies or sweets. And basically they say, trick or treat. If they get some candies, that's the treat. If they don't get anything, they will trick the hosts of the house. For example, pouring some or spilling some flour on the doormat or something like that, like a mischief. So this is a kind of a fun day for kids, even though they wear scary costumes quite often, not always just scary or sometimes funny too. And I think sometimes uh, we Hungarians also celebrate this day, but this is not Hungarian Halloween. In Hungary, in contrast to this, one day later, we have the All Saints Day. All Saints Day, when we remember our lost relatives, lost loved ones, so basically who passed away, who died, passed away. So the 1st of November is the All Saints Day. In Hungary, on this day, it's a tradition to go to the cemeteries and to light candles and also to put some flour or some wreaths on top of the graveyards or tombs. And I'm not saying that we remember our dead ones on this day because I think we do that or we can do that every single day. But this is the specific uh, official day for remembering our dead relatives or friends or loved ones. So this is the All Saints Day. Do you go to the cemetery on this day? I'm curious. 
Do you celebrate uh, any of these holidays? Let me know what are those holidays you prefer among these. The next one is Christmas Eve. Now, Christmas obviously consists of more days. Officially, it's the 25th and the 26th of December. However, we do know that in Hungary, the 24th of Christmas is uh, the day when we give presents or gifts to each other. And Eve, as I said previously, is means evening. Christmas Eve is on the 24th of December. And uh, this is the day when normally most of the Hungarian families decorate the Christmas tree and they give gifts to each other. Or they just get together, <laughs> eat some stuffed cabbage, cabbage is in roll. In the UK and um, in the US as well, Boxing Day is a specific uh, part of Christmas. It's not celebrated specifically like that uh, or not called like that in Hungary. Boxing Day is the second day of Christmas, so the 26th. And um, basically, it's a big commercial day. It's kind of commercialized. And there are huge sales and discounts in, in stores because the stores, the shops, the malls are open. And I think some people go crazy and they go shopping just because the discounts are so high and they can get some good deals. So this is Boxing Day, but that was not the original background of it. Now, we don't get into the holidays too deeply because I would like to go through a few of them. The next one, April Fool's Day. It's not a national holiday, but in Hungary we can also hear about this day. But actually it's celebrated in the UK and the US as well, even though it's not a bank holiday or not a national holiday. Fool means crazy or mad. And uh, the point of this holiday is uh, to make fun of others or to do some mischief or to, to joke about something. Maybe that's the best word, to joke about something. And basically, you're fooling others. We can also say fooling others. So telling them a white lie, something that is not true, but uh, you want them to believe that. So you fool them. And then you probably tell them that I was just kidding. It was a joke. It's not true. That's the point of April the 1st, which is the April Fool's Day. The next one is the International Women's Day. I think, uh, hi Nikki, good to see you. Thank you for the first comment. Again, questions, which holidays do you celebrate among these? So International Women's Day is on the 8th of March. And um, actually on this day, obviously, we celebrate women. I think we should have an International Men's Day as well. As far as I know, there is no such day. But we should have, if we have Women's Day, we should have Men's Day, in my opinion. But on this day, we celebrate women and we get flowers or a bit of sweets or some kind words. And for example, here in Transylvania, where I live, we organize some parties for, for us, for women. We get together, we, we have a proper dinner, a nice dinner, and uh, we dance a bit and things like that. So it's, it's fun. It's very good. Thanksgiving is an American holiday, so Thanksgiving, which is the fourth uh, Thursday of November. Uh, so the date is changeable always, every year. And I really appreciate this holiday. Basically, the point is to give thanks to everything we have, to express abundance in our life, to, to be grateful, to show gratitude, these are the most important things on Thanksgiving Day. And basically, Americans uh, have a get-together with the family members. They eat a nice roast turkey, typically with salad or other garnishes. But it can be changeable from family to family what they eat. But roast turkey is the iconic meal of Thanksgiving. And as I said, they express their gratitude, their thanks towards uh, each other. We could celebrate uh, uh, every day like that, I would say, and we should. Valentine's Day, again, it's not Hungarian. Typically, even though it's uh, 
I think it's uh, celebrated in many families in Hungary. I personally don't really like this holiday. So Valentine's Day is on the 14th of uh, February, Love Day. And uh, basically coppers give uh, some nice things to each other, like presents, or they go out for a date, even married ones. And they try to express that they are like coppers and they, they are in love in a way. We're not getting into the background thing is. St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, it's a specific Irish uh, holiday. St. Patrick is the patron saint of uh, Ireland and it's on the 17th of March. And Irish wear green clothes on this day. Uh, they have fun. They're really funny and nice, interesting traditions on this day. So especially dancing, which is a, a very specific uh, cultural fact about Irish. They are very good at uh, dancing, most of them, especially this Irish dance. We don't celebrate it here in Hungary, but um, you can get some more information on that if you're interested. It, it's a very interesting Irish holiday. Lent. Lent is um, not specifically one day, it's a period, a religious uh, period before Easter. So once uh, the carnival is ended, we start the period of Lent when we fast. To fast here means that we, <laughs> I'm not saying we shouldn't eat but because we eat, but some people don't eat meat like me. Now I'm fasting, I'm not eating any meat at all, not just on Fridays, but like I'm not eating meat now at all, not because I'm religious, uh, but I wanted to try it anyway. Or we can fast uh, like in other ways, like for example, not to eat uh, such foods that you crave for, like sweets during this period. So basically you try to choose a habit of yours, not just related to eating, but some other stuff too, that you would like to stop doing during that period. And that's the Lent period before Easter. And it takes 40 days. Okay, okay, we have one more slide, just three more holidays to cover. May Day. May Day, it has a very interesting uh, background why it's called like May Day in the UK and uh, in the US, May Day, especially in the UK. This is a specific holiday for saying goodbye again to the winter times and uh, welcoming the spring that is around the corner or has already arrived. And uh, um, in Britain, for example, they, they set up a maypole, which is a kind of uh, mostly a tree that they dance around. In Hungary, the 1st of May is also called the Labour Day in Hungary. This one is coming from the communism, so it's a communist holiday in a way. However, it also has some traditions uh, in connection with spring, love, because in the countryside, boys try to express their uh, likings, appreciations or love towards some girls and they set up some trees decorated with uh, some ribbons or some colorful papers, ribbons. And uh, when I was a girl, I also got a few times such a maypole, a may tree in Hungarian. But nowadays we sometimes get um, a basket of flowers on this day, but especially those girls who are not married yet. That's a specific Hungarian tradition. Now, last but not least, I have a specific British and an American holiday too that I would like to mention. Guy Fawkes Night or Bonfire Night is on the 5th of November. Um, this is a British holiday. Guy Fawkes um, actually lived um, in the medieval times and he was planning this plot, this conspiracy against uh, the parliament and the uh, king, James as far as I remember. And uh, he put some barrels of gunpowder under the parliament. But uh, actually, they found out his plan and he was executed, killed, he was hanged. And uh, therefore, on this day, they celebrate this occasion that basically the parliament and the king survived. So the king was not killed, the parliament not exploded. 
and therefore they commemorate uh, this uh, historic event on this day by, for example, burning a dummy, which is symbolizing Guy Fawkes. That was the name of this guy. And they have bonfires. Bonfires mean fireworks. Okay, the American specific, very famous, probably the most famous national holiday, the Independence Day, which is the 4th of July. So basically, uh, they commemorate their uh, independence. So you can get some further information on these. Which one do you celebrate? Let me know, I'm curious. Na, hát ennyi fért a mai live-unkba bele. Bízom benne, hogy egy kicsit kizökkentettelek titeket most ezzel az angol nyelvi live-val, és, és nézzetek utána ezeknek az ünnepeknek kicsit alaposabban, olvassatok utána, hiszen azért a kultúra ugyanúgy része a nyelvtudásunknak, és mivel mind az amerikai, a brit területeken angolt beszélünk, ezért az ilyen English speaking country, tehát az angolul beszélő országoknak a kultúráját érdemes megismerni. Jövő héten folytatjuk, csütörtökön 14.30-kor magyar idő szerint, sport, tehát sport lesz a témánk, kifejezéseket hozok, az korábbi live-ok mentén fogunk haladni, angolul, magyarul is lesz szó, és hozok kérdéseket a témához, hogyan tudtok beszélgetést kezdeményezni, Úgyhogy gyertek jövő héten is, normál időpontban, és keddenként küldjük ugye a hírleveleinket, néha előfordul, hogy szerdán, mint például ma is, ahol megkapjátok az adott hétnek a live-jának az útmutatóját, tehát a diákat is hírlevélben, le tudjátok tölteni, úgyhogy ha nem lennétek feliratkozva, tegyétek meg az angolra hangolva.com fő oldalán. Köszönöm, hogy itt voltatok, szép estét, sziasztok!